Well, hello everybody. It is way past midnight. I just celebrated my 50th birthday. We had a three day celebration with my friends. So I thought I would also celebrate on YouTube by filming my 50 random facts about me. So here we go. Fact number one. I was born in Thessaloniki, uh, the northern part of uh, Greece, on 22nd of May 19... I'm not revealing the year, but of course I turned 50 just <laughs> today, so you can calculate. 1966 actually. My dad died when I was a three. Uh, which means I never met my dad. He was an exceptional man, a lovely man and very handsome. Unfortunately, I never met him. I was christened Maria, but because I also had a cousin called Maria living in the same sort of place with us. And also because my mom had a very good friend called Marietta, everybody started calling me Marietta. I have an older sister. When I was uh, very little, I was quite good at uh, gymnastics, but I stopped because I had scoliosis. M my first uh, ever record that I bought with my own pocket money was uh, Discovery by ELO in 1978. Um, when I was a baby, I traveled to London with my mom very often. Uh, because I had a little problem with my heart so I was going to Hammersmith Hospital and my actual face was plastered all over London um, to support uh, it was an ad to support a charity the first time I came uh, to London as an adult it was in 1986 and I came with a friend and I instantly knew this is the place I want to live. I graduated from an American college in Athens in Greece. My major was journalism and theatre. In 1989 I traveled around uh, Greece with a amateur theatre company from Berkeley University. Um, we were called the Music Theatre Project and we performed shows all around Greece, uh, the Three Penny Opera, Carnival, and other smaller plays, and it was a magical time. I really enjoyed it. I've also played at the television version of Annie, the musical Annie, the original one, I mean, but in Greek and it was um, broadcast on uh, Greek television and I was playing the uh, orphan uh, Pepper. <laughs> I think she was the quite mean one from all the orphans. So I enjoyed that role quite a lot. I love writing and uh, I have been writing since I was uh, very little when I couldn't read or write. I made my own language and I was scribbling and it was called Buthabaik. I have written too many plays which were broadcast on the Greek radio. My career includes computer trainer which was my first job, assistant director, script editor, I was a copywriter in advertising in a couple of companies. I was a reporter for a couple of radio stations. And for the last 10 years, I'm a customer services advisor in London. Who knew? I tan very easily in just five days. I am a bronze goddess. Fantastic color and that makes me so happy. My pet hates are uh, snakes, cockroaches, uh, rats, yikes, and most of all earthquakes. I am terrified of earthquake earthquakes and this is one of the reasons 
I fled from Greece because we have earthquakes quite often and I get so scared and I also hate noise any kind of noise the drills the screaming children cars honking or revving Ugh, I hate noise I'm also terrified of steep rocks or slippery pathways or any kind of a pathway that will endanger me to fall over because I hurt a lot when I fall over. My favorite color is purple and if I wasn't working in such a you know dressy cody environment I would be purple from head to toe. I love that color. My favorite food is probably souvlaki. Yum yum. Since I was a little girl I loved technology and um, other girls would ask for dolls and toys and stuffed animals not me I would ask for techie stuff walkie-talkies tape recorders radios microphones things like that my favorite movie is Amadeus I always wanted to be a DJ and play music uh, at parties or have my own radio program and play music. I hate westerns and I hate mafia themed kind of movies or television shows. My ultimate destination is Japan. I used to speak French better than English. I lived in France for a while and um, because I didn't practice after that a lot, I kind of forgot how to speak French. My guacamole is delicious. I bought my flats on the 11th of September 2001. On that September the 11th. I remember it was just afternoon and I was staying at my best friend's house because I was practically homeless until I got my flat. So she came in, she said, it's okay, we can go get our keys. You know, you can go get your keys, let's go together. So she drove me to the estate agents. I got the keys in my hand. I was so happy, I was ecstatic. Then I went to my friend's car and she turns around and says, my dad just called me and he said there was an air crash in New York and you know we didn't know exactly what was going on then we went home we turned the TV on and we saw the first uh, actually no we saw the second plane hit the second tower and then we watched the whole catastrophe with the two towers falling down and I was so Sad. I've been to New York twice, but I do want to go again. I love New York. I had a dog called Alex. He was a Cocker Spaniel. I had a cat, black and white cat, called Fatsa. And then a kind of a Ali, you know, tabby cat called uh, Cuckoo. I don't have a pet now. I would love to have a pet oh and I used to have two hamsters one after the other both of them called Lucky when I went to Egypt I got lost in the temple of Luxor I couldn't find my way around and I, all the columns of course looked the same and I was terrified and I couldn't shout of course because of the sacredness of the place so I just tried to find my way out and finally after uh, sometime my group found me and we returned to the coach. When I got hired at my current job I was so ecstatically happy that I took the wrong train home because I was staying at a friend's house so I always took the train from the same platform but that date had changed platform. So I got on a train and it was going and going and going until I found myself somewhere completely unknown, completely unknown scenery. I called my friend, she wasn't there, left a message on the voicemail and thank God, you know, back then 
I don't think she had a mobile. I didn't have a mobile. So I left her a message on her non-line and she came and picked me up after some time. And we were so happy that I got the job and uh, it was it was so so uh, unforgettable. I have watched my charm DVDs so many times that I completely wrote off two computer DVD drives. Um, I love Charmed. Now it's on Netflix, so I watch it again and again and again and again and again. My favorite make of car is a Mini. I would love to have a Mini, but I love the older models, the 60s, 70s one, you know, from the Italian job kind. I once danced with Rudolf Nureyev. Um, if you don't know who he is, he was a famous ballet dancer, maybe one of the most famous ones. And he came to Spetses, to the island I was vacationing at. And I saw him in front of me and we were pinching each other with my mom. I said, go talk to him, go ask for his autograph. I said, no, mama, I can't. I said, go, go, go. So I went there. <laughs> So he gave me his autograph, he was very sweet. And then in the night um, we went to a club and there he was dancing in front of me. So very casually I went again and said hello and he started dancing with me. So yes, I can honestly say that I have danced with Rudolf Nureyev. During uh, Halloween and Christmas as you may have seen in my videos, my inner child comes out. I dress up during Halloween. I love dressing up. I decorate my house and I love decorating my house for Christmas and all the gift exchange and all that. I love, I love both of these holidays. I think Christmas a little bit more than Halloween, but I love the whole dressing up in Halloween. So yeah, I might be counting the months until 31st of October. When I had a um, scoliosis operation in France in 1983, I uh, was very sad that I lost my appetite so much that I was only having one or two slices of ham every day. I couldn't eat anything else. I lost so much weight. Then I went back to Greece and I started eating sulake again, so I got my weight back. But back then I was so skinny. I've seen The Who, my favorite band, alive about six times. I have met the two remaining members, Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend and I will never forget those moments. I have a huge crush on David Tennant. Every time I hear the song Sleep by Texas, I cry, I burst into tears. Let me sleep and dream of you. Oh, Before video recorders, I was recording Greek movies with an external mic from the TV. I had so many of them. I was recording them into little tapes and I was listening to them every night before I went to, to sleep. And I think like for, for that reason, like that, I, I learned most of the Greek movies by heart, mainly comedies and uh, I still have those tapes, the hundreds and hundreds of tapes somewhere in Athens. This is the third time I am dyeing my hair blonde and I think this time is for good. I'm not going dark uh, again. I also have some gray hairs. Blonde, blondes have more fun. I thought the lyric from Tommy's holiday camp that says the camp with the difference was saying when I was very little of course it was saying a cat with addiction or the cat with addiction I couldn't understand Keith Moon I couldn't understand when he was saying 
a camp with a difference. I am a qualified gift wrapper. I had the appropriate training and I can gift wrap, you know, the complicated gift wrapping and the bows and the stuff like that. And uh, always at Christmas or at some birthdays, my presents look outstanding my gift wrapping. My nicknames include uh, Mario. Um, my grandma used to call me Mario and I was saying Mario is a man's name grandma. But anyway she liked to call me uh, Mario. I used to call myself Peanut from the Peanut series you know with Snoopy and Woodstock. Um, sometimes my best friend calls me Marika and I have a friend who uh, used to call me Simpson from The Simpsons. He, I probably think I reminded him of Lisa Simpson. Until I was 17, I thought I was born a year later um, from the actual year that I was born. Until I saw my baby passport and it was on a date that I wasn't supposed to be born and it had my actual date of birth and I was like why haven't you told me I asked my mom that I was born a year earlier and she couldn't ask me so in reality I have never celebrated my sweet 16th birthday because from 15 I jumped to 17 Where's my sweet 16 birthday party then? I have no known allergies, but I sometimes start coughing very intensely and then I start sneezing very intensely. So I don't really know what's going on there. It's probably dust. I haven't really got a, a sweet tooth like some of my <clears throat> relatives or uh, friends but I can't resist ice cream one of the reasons I get very exciting for going to the theater is because I can have ice cream in the intermission <laughs> most of the time I do my own manicure but for pedicure I will go to the salon I can't do my own pedicure speaking of pedi I don't really um, let them touch my heels or my um, bottom of my foot because I'm so ticklish I suffer so I can jump to the roof if they if they touch my uh, you know my arch at the bottom of my foot oh my god and finally the one thing that I do regret in life is that I never uh, learned how to play a musical instrument or that I don't have good voice so I could sing because one of the things I mostly adore in life is music and I wish I could play music if you ask me to start learning now because it's never too late I will turn around and say I don't have the patience anymore. Music, just to know how to play the notes and, and produce melody. I know how to play Silent Night, five notes. Do, 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 do. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so these are 50 random facts about me. If I think of anything else, I might have another video later uh, in uh, another time and I hope you learned a thing or two about me some of my quirks and um, I hope you liked my new Moroccan background and I will see you soon in another video bye bye